Hey guys, welcome back to the Summit Hydraulics channel. My name is Sam and today we're going to be doing a complete install of a Power Beyond kit on our very own John Deere 3030AE. All right, so I have everything laid out here um, as far as the parts are gonna need to put together for this kit. We have all of our adapters, our bracket. So we're gonna get right into putting all this on the bracket. From there, we have part 12, which is the 6500-0808, number eight JIC female by number eight JIC male 90 degree adapter that is going to go on the bottom portion here facing this way. Remember with these JIC fittings you don't want to over tighten them. Next you're going to want to put the other 90 degree fitting on the top. So coming off of this side, that's where you're going to install your center hose and then you have your two couplers on this side. So one's going to be a female one, the female one's going to go on the top and remember you want to have the o-ring side on both, both ends, not in the middle because this is an o-ring SAE number 8 o-ring boss thread, so that's going to go on the top part here. We already lubricated the o-ring, so we're just going to snug that guy on as well. All right, next you're gonna need HS006. This hose is going to go on just like that. All right, next you're gonna need HS052. All right, next you're gonna need HS043, hose number seven. Zero five four, be installing here. So your T-fitting is gonna go on the last hose on the bottom. should have everything installed just like such. T fitting facing it that way, 90 degrees, with this bracket here according to the instructions. We have everything assembled as far as the kit goes, so now we're gonna have to remove your hard line, basically coming from your loader valve to the reserve tank port on your tractor. So on your tractor's loader, it has a power beyond port and uh, coming factory stock, if the Power Beyond port is not routed to any rear implements, it is gonna be going back to tank generally. So basically we're gonna have to remove the hard line, this one in particular. So this one runs from the rear to your reserve reservoir all the way up here to your Power Beyond. Bingo, bingo, we got her off just like that. So once you have the bracket mounted up and your line's running through, we still have to do some uh, connecting of where the lines need to go, but some tips to help this install out is you may want to loosen these 90 degree adapters just to kind of clock everything and making sure that everything's a little neat for when riding your lines through. All right, so next we are going to remove this return to tank port. This is another return port that goes up to the front end of the loader and basically that is where we're going to install this T-fitting going straight into there. 
and then from there you are going to have your return line coming from your loader valve to here. So we are routing this hose up here to the return to tank port. Thank you guys for watching today's video of this install of the Power Beyond kit. Please share, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.